Good morning traders. So how do we trade the DAX today? So looking at the daily, we had this flag that I pointed out yesterday and we've got a confirmation bar on that flag. Okay, so now if the most logical thing here is going to be that kind of move. So in other words, we've moved down, we retracing, and now it's a second move to the downside. Okay, and that there, what I need to do here is just hop onto the weekly, because this is where it starts making it very interesting. Because that would break this big head and shoulders, and you can see how it also lines up with the 200 EMA on the weekly. Okay, so yeah, so that that is pretty pretty interesting to say the least. And uh, we're going to drill down the lower time frames now. I just want to get rid of this. Uh, but if you look at this on the weekly, we do have an inside bar. Okay, so confirmation that this is an inside bar will be a break above that level, and we'll pick them up now on the lower on the lower levels. Okay, so. So yeah, so on the daily we've got a flag, on the weekly we have a inside bar, which is a reversal bar. Okay, so let's just get down to the levels that make sense, we can trade. Okay, um, it's going to add another level in here, which is pretty much that area there. So that is our consolidation area. Okay, now... If you notice here, we had a triangle break last night. Okay, so yesterday was pretty much a nothing day. Uh, we didn't, you know, there was nothing to the upside, nothing really to the downside. It was just a consolidation day. And, you know, if we just start at the, on the on the four hour, you can see we're above the alligator on the four hour. Uh, we're above the awesome moss ladder here as well. We do have continuation diversions. In other words, price has made a low, and then there's a higher low, but yet we have divergence. In other words, it's either a double, uh, it's either a double bottom, or um, the oscillator has made a, a low and a lower low. Okay, and this is ever so slightly a lower low, so divergence. And that divergence normally indicates a continuation to the upside. Okay, or continuation in, in the direction that the trend is. And right now, you could argue that this is a trend change. Okay, the second thing here is this consolidation break here. Let's get it to there. Um, that target has not played out yet. Okay, so that target is pretty much the gap close. So there's a gap here, and that is that target. And I suppose now we get rid of the rectangle. Right. Okay, so let's just get down to what we can trade today. So I'm afraid for me the you know the the jury's out, you know, on the on the daily there there is a flag break. And on the you know the, the, the four hour there is a um, there's a trend change potential that's that's setting up. And on the hour there is a trend change. Okay, so take your pick. And uh, this is just a great example of why you want to trade one time frame only. And uh, sort of the other time frames take, you know, take your direction from, but pick a time frame and trade it. So for me, on the hour and on the half hour, if I just go to the half hour, half hour is not really clear. We did break through the Alligator, we tested it once, tested it twice, and we've broken through again. So for me, this is potentially a move to the downside. If I look at the hour, um, it's a breakthrough. We test, test, uh, two rejection bars off the alligator, and then a break of a triangle as well. So you know, for me right now, if I look at the hour, there is potential for a move to the downside. Okay. Now, if we just pick up 
on the daily flag bottom, which is this one here. So you can see um, oh, that's not going to help us. So I just want to tidy this up so we can get a, a better view of it. Uh, delete it and put it back in. Okay, there you go. So that was our that was our flag break. You can see we broke, and that was a retest of the flag there. So if you look at the hour, you can see we broke out of the flag. We accelerated up, retested the break, and inside bar below the alligator, break out of a triangle. So we are now moving to downside. However, and I always say this, I keep saying this, is you know, it, it could just turn out to be a channel. Okay, so I'm just going to delete all our diagonals because, you know, as I say, never trust a diagonal line. Okay, and then you also see a, a potential head and shoulders for me here. So the reality is we need a break either, either side of the level. So this consolidation phase, if we break to the upside, so we break above uh, 12,135, we are expecting that it's a trend change and you'll be able to get a swing trade in for a move to the upside. Okay, and that move to the upside um, at a minimum should be a 61 or a 50% retracement of this down move as a minimum. Okay, so that's the first scenario. If we get a break to the downside, so in other words, we break below uh, 12.035, then what you're looking for is a measured move of the range break. So in other words, I'm at least looking for this here. Okay, I want to pick up on the daily where that takes us to. Okay, so that takes us back to the main level here. Okay, now obviously if we start breaking below this previous low of... So if we start breaking below uh, 11,860, then you can expect this measured move to play out. Okay, and that obviously takes us all the way down to uh, 11,400. Okay, so that's kind of um, the two scenarios that I see setting up at the moment. And uh, for me right now, it's more a case of the moves to the downside. Just bear in mind that this level down at the bottom and let's look at the weekly. So, sort of this area here of 11,860 is a pretty strong weekly level. Okay, so you can expect uh, sort of buyers to step in there, and you can definitely expect buyers off the 11,720. Okay, if that level goes, then this measured move will more than likely play out down to 11,400. And if you look, 11,400 lines up with a swing high that has not been tested. So there was the swing high on the weekly, and it hasn't really been tested. It wasn't tested there, it wasn't tested there. So, yeah, for me, that would be an ideal spot to be long. And I'm talking, this is a long-term a long -term view. I just want to line that up because you'll more than likely find that it almost lines up. Okay, so you can see this trend line here. That's kind of what you're looking. So you're looking to get um, long on this area here. Okay, from a weekly perspective. But anyway, that's still a long way away. Okay, so those are the two scenarios that I see playing out. So, you know, it's consolidation at the moment and you're looking for a break either way. And whatever happens uh, at this level this morning at um, 12035, you know, if we break through there, then expect moves to the downside to come and test the previous lows. And uh, 
you know, a break below the previous lows will just play out that measured move. So that's kind of my my bias is I'm expecting a break to the downside, and uh, for as long as we stay below twelve one thirty five. Yeah, I, I would expect us to move to the downside. Okay. So yeah, so last thing here is just want to measure how long this is. So yeah, 85 bars at the moment in a consolidation range. So yeah, 50-50 chance of breaking either way. Okay, so if we're looking at the half hour, trend is down at the moment. We've had a trend change. So if you're trading the 30 minute, that's what you're waiting for. If you're trading the a four hour, uh, you sort of, you should technically be playing the same thing, a break above 12.135 because that's the fractional level in actual fact. You can you can pull this down slightly because this is the fractional you need to break. So 12.125, so if you break above 12.125, then you have moved the upside. If you break below this four hour fractional here, which is 12.035, then you have a move to the downside. Okay, so pretty much in all time frames, it's the same scenario setting up. Okay, guys, so that's kind of my take on this. Uh, my bias is to the downside at the moment, and uh, I'm looking to come and test these previous lows here, at which point I will be looking very closely at these previous lows. So this may take all week. We may actually just get down to here and form a double bottom and then move the upside. That would be pretty ideal. But you can see also the awesome oscillator is kind of rolling around. So it's going to be interesting to see how this plays out. Anyway, guys, that's my take on it. Hope it helps. And uh, I'll catch up with you later. Enjoy your day. Cheers for now.